What is going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here with a video here today bringing us a brand new one of the best three Photoshop plugins leading into 2022. Basically give you guys some really cool plugins to actually use that are very useful, very awesome, and just like just some pretty prime ones. So if you guys have not yet seen the other video that I did last year, like nine months or something ago, those plugins are actually still pretty useful today. Um, Even like I use maybe like 90% of them still today anyway, but there's not many awesome cool plugins. So that's why I want to give you guys the really cool premium ones, some new ones, and just some like, just make sure you guys have an eye on them, right? So that is what I have for you guys today. So all the plugins you guys see in the video here today will be in the description down below to download. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. So hopefully you guys, of course, enjoy it, all that good stuff. And I'm not trying to sell a new video or try to, I'm not trying to sell a video that has some pretty old plugins. I think these are going to be pretty awesome. You guys are going to enjoy them. So uh, enjoy pretty much. That's all I got. And that's all I, yep, yep. English is, yep. Cool. Bye. All right, homie. So for the first plugin, we have Color Designer. I know many of you guys, like myself, might struggle finding that perfect color for the project. But I do think, in fact, that this plugin will actually solve a lot of those issues. It's honestly really easy to use as well, simply starting out with choosing a color in your foreground color and then opening up the actual plugin. You'll actually end up finding yourself with a very simple layout of quick visuals of many different tints, shades, and even harmonies of that exact color. Going through these selections, you'll find a very easy way to find out what color is actually your best complementary color for your color of your choice. You'll even find some similar colors in that family for awesome color combinations and more. Don't forget as well to actually look at the top options for the gradient generator, where you'll actually find some really awesome colors to actually make for vibrant hue sets. It's generally pretty awesome, it's actually worth a download. Now, next up, we have the Noun Project. Now, I'm very aware I brought this up for my awesome sites to find for free icons for various things, but most importantly for me, using it for like Twitch packages for iconography. Now, as cool as a site is, they also have a Photoshop plugin. As of recent, you can find yourself easily downloading using icons from my favorite site you can ever get them from. Something very similar to what Icon 8 is, however, I believe the non-project icons hold a bit more of a modern flair, which I think a lot of you guys might enjoy a little bit more. All I'm saying is, if you guys were a fan of the actual site even before I first brought it up, you guys will for sure love the plugin as well. Now, the last one is actually a pretty clutch plugin for the homies who work with a lot of different brand logos. The plugin is known as Brand Fetch. It pretty much gives you one transparent logo and one fill logo, alongside the actual brand's main color scheme and the fonts they use for the branding as well. I actually ended up trying to find logos that weren't usable or outdated, and truly only found about like two or three that were outdated or just like really wasn't usable out of maybe like 40 of the ones that I thought at the top of my head. It's pretty awesome and something I really didn't know I needed or wanted until I actually saw the plugin itself. It honestly beats typing out your like brand name plus like putting in logo, PNG, and downloading it. To then only forget where I actually downloaded it and then download it again and then keep downloading it, yeah, that's no good. So if you guys want to save yourself some space and not see YouTube in quotations for that you downloaded it four times, I think it's a pretty awesome plugin. So with that being said, guys, that is the end of the video here today. It's very, very quick. And I also want to add in one more plugin. I want to talk about it with you guys really quick. It's called the Ranger. It's basically you take this kind of like fun idea of like some shapes. If you want to like make like a cool like circle out of them or put them in a really cool grid or just offset them in a weird way. It's like it's kind of like a little bit of power that you would have like with an illustrator like uh, pattern plugin within Photoshop, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, it's just something I thought would be, be cool, but I don't know if it's like that useful. So I wanted to actually like talk about it and show you guys my excitement for it. I think it's just, it's a fun idea to just have, I think. That's why I want to leave it to the end. Um, but yeah, with that being said, it's called a Ranger. I'll leave it, of course, in the description down below for you guys as well. But then again, with that being said, that is the end of the video here today. So hope you guys do enjoy. Leave a like on it. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. All that good stuff. And uh, that's that's pretty much it. Sesso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love and peace. Enjoy your weekend.